afternoon everybody welcome back to my youtube channel today's video is going to be part two of my wish school supplies videos if you haven't seen the previous one i'll link that in the clickable i button along with <laughs> my new channel i will link that in the clickable i button too i have a couple of videos on there i'm so so excited for you to go across and watch them if you haven't already these are the thumbnails of my videos i'm really really happy with how that channel's going i'm really really happy with the content i love making it honestly just makes me so excited. Got a teeny little bogey at my nose, haven't I? Didn't realise that when I was filming and didn't think I could upload it without pointing it out, so I'm pointing it out. There it is, little bogey. Um, didn't want to refilm and fake my reactions, so I'm just uploading this with the little bogey. Enjoy the video. So, as I said, today's video is going to be part two of my Wish School Supplies video. I have here a nice big old Primark bag that has lots of school supplies in it that were all from Wish. Aside from a water bottle, I think the water bottle was like three to four pounds. Uh, apart from that, Everything else is free, which brings me to my little rant of the day. So, huh, whew, some of you in the comments like to get annoyed at me and you like to get your little fingers on your keyboard and go, oh, it's not free because you paid for shipping. So, I just thought to have a little chat with you about the difference between an item and shipping. The items say on there, free, and you pay maybe one to two pounds for shipping. So technically, Technically, money has left my bank. So technically, I have paid for these items. I understand what you're saying, but, but, if I were to go onto ASOS now, and I found a nice t-shirt, and that t-shirt came to 10 pounds, and then I thought, mm, I really want that t-shirt tomorrow, I'm going to pay for next day delivery, 5.99. Right, so I've technically, technically, paid 15 pounds 99 to get that t-shirt to me. How much was the t-shirt? The t-shirt was 10 pounds. The t-shirt was 10 pounds, the shipping was 5.99. The items were free, the shipping was a pound to two pounds. I don't get the issue. There were free items and I paid shipping. <sighs> Glad I got that one off my chest. Let's open the first school supply. <gasps> okay, give me some paper someone. Okay, these are invisible ink pens. Now I had one of these when I was at school, it was purple, it came in a massive like case that you had to get scissors and unbox and it, I swear, for some reason I have in my head that it was eight pounds for this pen and I begged mum for this pen, I begged her for this pen. These were free and you get three of them. So I'm very interested to see whether or not these actually work. <laughs> Oh, I feel like Doctor Who. Uh, sonic screwdriver. Is that a thing? I just, I don't think that's how it goes. I can't really see what I'm writing very well um, because it's disappearing. I do not see anything and the camera has gone funny. Oh, I can see something, wait. Look, I love you. I love you. Woo, it works. So now I can go ahead and write something naughty and you can't see it unless you've got a special pen, which actually is great that they come in a set of three because then you can give one to your friend and you can write notes across the classroom. Don't do that, it's naughty. And also, if you were wondering, I wrote the word poo. Right, what are you? Yes. Ooh, a little notebook. It was free and I paid shipping. Ugh. God, then we have to halt. Ooh, I feel like I'm gonna break it. Should really just have some scissors on hand, shouldn't I? Yeah. Wow, that was a waste of bubble wrap. Come on, it's a book. It's not gonna break in the post. Okay, so this is the little notebook. Let me show you with these lights down. Wait. It says, mini smiley diary. And then on the side here, it says, if you laugh, tomorrow will bow fun. Hmm, one moment. <laughs> Inside it's got little line pages and in the top corner there's a smiley face or a little thing that says if you laugh tomorrow will be fun but on the side of the book they've spelt B wrong and they've put bow. Please focus. Nope. I tried to make it so you can see it and it doesn't work so you're gonna have to take my word for it. On the inside it says laugh and tomorrow will be fun and on the outside it says if you laugh tomorrow will bow fun but it is quite a sweet little diary so it is pastel green with a little smiley face on the front. It has a little elasticated thing around it. And when you open it, it's got line pages and every now and again, colored um, blank pages. And yeah, oh, we'll take this off. 
Oh, and it says here, show your smile. That is quite cute. So that is item number two. So I've just looked it up. And when I bought this, I'll show you on the screen what I thought I was getting. It says free and it says mini diary notebook. And it does say notebook. So in my head, I'm thinking, okay, I'm getting one of them, but it does not let you choose the color. So I thought maybe they're all really tiny and I get all of them. I wasn't too sure, but I did just get one. Um, so if you wanted a pink one or you wanted a yellow one, there's no way of getting that one. You've just got to risk it and just order one. Or you could order lots and hope that they send an assortment. I don't really know. Now these, these look a little bit like what you'd expect to see on like a uh, YouTuber hacks video thumbnail. Little Coke and Pepsi bottles. How cute are they? I feel like these would be good for a DIY channel. Oh my God. Gosh, that's so cool. Okay, <laughs> oh, one moment. So this is the little Pepsi bottle. On the bottom you can see it's got a sharpener. And then if you pop the little cap off, then inside the top is, da da da, a little rubber. That's so cool. I love these. I'm happy with those. I'm gonna go get a pencil and see if we can sharpen it. Found a pencil. Slightly too big though, although, it actually does work, which is just, it's just genius. I like this a lot. However, we're gonna use a regular pencil, which this is actually already very sharp. It's actually already pretty sharp. We're just gonna shove it in there and see if we can sharpen it more. Holy poop, that is a sharp pencil. Look at this pencil. That worked really, really well. And I've just realized, ah, it's gonna go on. How do you get the sharpenings out? Wait, okay, I think the bottom pops off. <gasps> okay, here we go. Wait. Way! The little bottom pops out and that's how you get your sharpenings out. This is one of my favorite purchases. I've gotta say, that's great. That is great. What is this? Right. This is just cool. This is just definitely, okay. If any of you have packed lunch, as we'd say in the UK, or just, I don't know what you'd say in other countries, but we call it packed lunch, where it's lunchtime. Some people have cooked lunch. Some people have packed lunch. Um, if you have a packed lunch, these would be great. They are. They are portable knives and forks. Look, they're tiny. They're little diddy things. And you basically, you basically pop this into the end of there, I think. And then you've got a spoon. And wait, let me make myself a fork. And then you've got a mini fork and a spoon. They haven't provided me with a knife, but I guess maybe you just don't take knives into school. This is cute. Or you can pop these off, call it, my hand's just slipping. <laughs> there, there we go. Or you can pop those off and instead of a knife and fork, one moment please, you can have mini chopsticks. That's so smart. I like that a lot. Fork, spoon, chopsticks, tiny little case, put it in my bag. Okay, so Nick just got home and worked out it's not mini fork and spoon and it's not two mini chopsticks, it's just a giant fork and spoon. But I was too stupid to realize that, so I'm just adding this in after filming. This school supplies haul is going very well. I'm actually impressed with like everything. The notebook wasn't that impressive, but apart from that, everything's been really good. Okay, this is a pencil case for all of my school supplies. It's got little cacti on the front, little zip, don't need that. It's a cute little thing. And then on the back, this is my favorite part, which I've only just seen. It says, stay away from me because they're cacti and they're like prickly, like get away. This is the pencil case up close. And as you can see, it's just got four little cacti on the front. They look really pretty. And then on the back it says, stay away from me. It feels like a pretty durable pencil case. It is white though, which means it will get dirty pretty fast in my backpack if I were going to school. Um, zip works well. 
nice bit of room in there. I can put my sharpener in there. Dunno. Um, happy with that. And it was free. And I paid shipping. I really want to find the water bottle because I know it's in here. Here we go. I saw it under school supplies and I thought, <gasps> I want that. So I bought it for myself. This one I paid for. Um, this was, I'll have on screen how much it was. I think it was three or four pounds. Let me just look. Wait a minute. 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 It was two pounds. Anyway, it's a water bottle. Gah! Again, that's quite an excessive amount of bubble wrap. It's a water bottle, but how does this work? <laughs> okay, I think this is my favorite thing. It's a water bottle. It's 600 milliliters and it has on the side little measuring so you can keep track of how much you're drinking. It's got a nice twist off lid. Oh, with this weird little blob thing on it. It has a little screw top so you can glug, 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 glug down your drink. But then, <laughs> but then the best bit, the best bit, um, it's got a little button here and I'm pretty sure when you press it, it can spray water. So if you're really hot at school, psh, psh, psh. okay, I filled it with water, first test, does it leak? Pretty leak proof, so we won't be having any accidents in the bag. How well does this work? I haven't really washed this bottle, so I don't really want to drink it actually. Water comes out, so that's great. I don't want to drink it because I didn't give the bottle or the lid a clean or anything, so I don't want to be getting ill. But now for the moment of truth. So there is a little thing here, and I'm pretty sure when I click it, this is gonna spray water in my face. It's just a bit of water, but I'm just scared about how much it's gonna go and whether it's gonna completely ruin my makeup. Okay, I got a bit of water. Refreshing! Oh! Oh, it's a really fine mist. It's actually really, really refreshing. My face is now wet. This is brilliant. This is brilliant! This is my favorite. Okay, final item. I'm gonna go for this little baggy. What is this? Ooh, fancy! This is a ruler with a calculator on it. It's a ruler and technically kind of a compass with a calculator on it and, and this is a magnifying glass. This is a magnifying glass. This is just, that's like what, four things in one? We're gonna go for five times five equals 25. Times by 500, oh, 594 equals Whoa, I don't know if that is true or not. I don't know if that is correct maths, but apparently 877 times 954 is 520,938. Really happy with my school supplies today. I feel like I did really well. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy watching it and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye.